take it back a little bit and explore your undergrad. So you mentioned you are from Beijing. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me a bit about, uh, you know, coming to Dalhousie, coming to Canada as an international student and, you know, eventually going to the Bachelor of Commerce and selecting to be an accounting major. I want to hear about it from, quote, the beginning. Yeah, my story is a little bit different with the people like in the same age, because I learned specifically learn art in my high school, and I'm an art student, and I take the art examination in China, and I really want to get in art and also like fine art and design industry when I was in high school. So I contribute a lot in that. I, I feel like I spent more than five years to practice on how to do the design and how to like learn about this industry in that time. And I, yeah, but when I really get into this industry and I get into the university um, for art, I feel that mm, this field is not very, suitable for me. At that time, I feel, okay, I liked it before. I like this field. But when I really learned that in a deeper sense, I feel that, well, this is not what I want. And I really don't want to treat as a, as a hobby. And I, I feel I learn art or I learn design because I feel happy. And I feel like when I do something, I want to try something, I feel like okay, this is mine, and I just get some thinking, crazy thinking or something like that, and I just paint it out, and I feel very glad on doing that, but when I take it as a work, I feel, okay, <laughs> it's not, it's very different, and also art is not like mathematic or statistic, you're right, the answer is right, then you're right, it's not pretty much, much like that. It's really depend on what people feel on you, your design or your artwork. Different people get very different thinking. And I found that time I feel pretty confused because you know me that I'm, I'm a very logic oriented person. I need to know the answer and I need to know what is right and what is wrong. And I get the logic, then I do the thing. But I, that, at that time, I paint something and different people give me very different evaluation on that. And I got super confused. <laughs> so, so I explored because I paint something. And when people come, he found that thing is super good. But another people come and he said, like, I found is a totally garbage. I can say that. It's not like, yeah, they are very, like, very two very extreme comments on similar artwork. So at that time, I feel super confused. And I'm, but yeah, maybe it's my problem or my logic in here because I know most of my friends still in this industry, they are they got very high agreeableness and openness. But for me, I need the logic behind. No, I need to and know why you think this is, Bad or why you yeah. think it is good. I need to know the reason. I'm this kind of type of person. So that is why I feel maybe I'm not very simple in this industry. Well, yeah. I think you bring up a really good point that, you know, pursuing things uh, that are in line with your passion, um, sometimes when you do them for work, um, it, it, I don't want to say it like loses some of it, but, you know, Sometimes when it's, how do I say this? When you're doing something that you really like to do, but mm -hmm. then you're trying to do it for your soul, you know, for your income, for your schooling, for, and you said like, go deeper. Uh, sometimes it loses a little bit of that, what makes you happy. And especially if for you, like you like the logic, you want to know, okay, well, why about this? Or, you know, what about this? What can I fix? How can we use feedback? And people are just like, I don't know, like, or, you know, I just feel like, Wait a minute. Um, and so there is something to be said about pursuing passions 
as passions and keeping that as a passion and also pursuing your career that maybe takes this other skill set that you have and develops other skill sets that you become passionate about as well. So you can have your art, you can have your, you know, finance and accounting career, and they don't have to be, you know, at odds, but they can kind of complement the life that you're creating for yourself. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And at that time, I just, yeah, I, maybe that time I'm too young. I can, if I in the same situation for now, I feel it's okay because different people get different comments. And I feel like, because I feel like normally in the work, in the accounting work or finance work, sometimes you do something and different people give you different feedback. So it's very okay for me for now. But in that time, I feel super struggle on that. Fair. Like, yeah, That's because I put all my effort in that. And and I don't know, sometimes, like maybe for the finance or the accounting, you can tell this is debit, this is credit. You just get it, it's wrong. You cannot debit this. But, yeah. <laughs> but, but yes, like for artwork, you don't know. Like just sometimes maybe people don't like the yellow color or maybe, maybe they don't like the blue color. It's it's pretty it's just a sense. people don't know okay. what they yeah. why they don't like something so yeah, my question my question yeah. then is how did you go like when did you when did you change and when did you make that change and how did that mm -hmm. how did that evolve to your time at Dalhousie yeah like at that time I just tell my parents I'm, I'm done I'm done with this industry I want to change someplace and I have never sought to study abroad before and I have never sought to come in Canada at that time and yeah at that time I think I remember is December uh, or somewhere like December 2016 or January 2017 at that time and most of Canadian university uh, like uh, application their deadline is around April or March and and for the America University because my sister my younger sister she is apply for uh, the America University and but I do not do any exam for the US University so I cannot I'm available I'm not a very available for like for the US wow. University and I, I, I just tell my father I just want to go out I want just want to change some something and I want to leave by myself not economic like independently for now I can I still cannot leave like independently in economic side in finance side but yeah I just want to mentally leave independent with just without my parent <laughs> so yeah I just and my father, father have a very tough argue with me at that time but I just want to go out and to see the world, how other part of the world like operate or how people in that country life left like how they make living for that. So at that time, Canadian University gave me the opportunity and I found I, I can give like give a try. And I so I just directly applied to Canadian University and the Dalhousie because my score at that time is not very high for my uni for my high school score. And also I do not get any language test at that time. So yeah, I got a lot of shortage on the application at that time. So because it's just a rush application for two months, because like for my younger sister, she prepared to go to US University, start at her first year in high school like wow. she prepared for that more than three years but I prepare for that just three months or at least than three months so oh, I feel like your experience is closer to like my experience being from Canada applying to Canadian universities like I was kind of like oh I don't know I hit grade 12 and I was like yeah I guess I'll like apply to universities now yeah, <laughs> like, yeah I just applied that yeah, yeah. Um, and, and yeah, Dalhousie is the one that gives me the opportunity. So I really appreciate Dalhousie can give me the opportunity at that time and accept me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because if I do not get that opportunity, I will not be like that. <laughs> yeah. so, 
Yeah. There. So you come, um, so you get accepted, you start in September of 2017 then. Mm-hmm. And like, how, how was it being in, being an international student? Cause um, you know, I'm about to teach uh, first years in just over two weeks. And, you know, I'm going to have a room full of people that, you mm-hmm. know, maybe just arrived in Canada. So, you know, let me know what was the experience um, coming and se- like, you know, and starting yeah. school and starting a life away from your parents. Yeah. Start from like 2017 because I do not have language test. So I directly go to the EAP program for the language learning. And I um, finally get into my undergrad, my bachelor degree in 2018. So yeah, I started as May because at that time, because I have struggling on my artwork once. So I really want to learn more. So I got older in the similar grade, like for me, because my classmate is normally born in, 20 20 something like that but i'm like 1998 <laughs> and older two year for them but but yeah but so i sometimes and i have an experience it's very different with them so at that time i know what i want i know i need to grab this opportunity and learn it and i just want to know and i want to expand the network at that time because very different with other people i know nobody in Canada, the whole Canada, it's just myself. I just know myself. And I, my parents don't give me any support because like if I live in China or lots of people I know, like my younger sister, they prepare for their university to study abroad. They will get some connection like from their parents. But for me, it's just like a sudden decision and my parent just not give me any support in this kind of side. My father just support me on the financial. And yeah, so for here, like I expand, I know everybody just by myself based on my own network. So this is one thing I really want to tell like for international students, like I know sometimes it's very hard and it's also similar for me. When I just come in Canada, I don't want to speak with other people because I know my English is not good. <laughs> and, and I cannot like smoothly communicate with them. But you see me now, I can even record a podcast. <laughs> yeah. yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. So no, it's no, a big change. So, you know, I'm, I know one language. Um, so I applaud everybody who speaks to me in my one language especially knowing, um, you know, that they, they have other language or languages. Uh, so I hope anybody listening to this that is nervous about speaking in English, come talk to me, uh, come talk to Gilu, come talk to yeah. find your people. Um, because, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm not in a place to necessarily encourage that. So thank you for encouraging them to, to, to practice, to talk because yeah, you are, oh my gosh, you are like, you're teaching in English. You're teaching while a university student uh, TA in English. And yeah, so sorry. I, I'll, I just want to really emphasize right. that. So important. Thank you. 